So I'm gonna go ahead and change out both of these, one because I've already cut through this one and this one leaked on me. And this kind of goes back to spare items that we've talked about in other videos. It's always good to have you an extra set of gloves. These are relatively inexpensive. You can pick these up off of Amazon and they're super easy to replace. So I'm gonna show you here on camera just how easy it is to replace the right hand glove here. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. Well, you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now, throughout our dry suit series, one of the questions I got here on YouTube was, how do you actually change out the gloves? And I showed you how I changed the gloves on the suit and how the rings work. Well, I'm actually gonna show you in today's video how to change out these gloves and why it's actually important to have multiple sets of gloves. You can. It's okay if you've only got one ring system, but we're gonna talk about in this video why you might wanna consider carrying multiple sets of gloves that you can change out for any reason. So with that being said, let's get started. All right guys, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna actually swap out these gloves for the ones that's already on there. And yes, they're identical. Uh, this was bought just in a case of gloves, if you will. Uh, but there's a couple of reasons I'm gonna change these out. You guys know that we do a ton of salvage work. And if we look really closely to these right here, you will notice I've actually already cut into the fingers of the glove there. So I don't know if you can see that slit, but I've actually cut through several of the fingers here. So you see that slit there? Um, now, thankfully, I've not cut all the way through it, so this glove's not leaking. However, this glove did leak. And if you look up in there, you'll see just how wet it is on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and change out both of these, one because I've already cut through this one, and this one leaked on me. And this kind of goes back to spare items that we've talked about in other videos. It's always good to have you an extra set of gloves. These are relatively inexpensive. You can pick these up off of Amazon and they're super easy to replace. So I'm gonna show you here on camera just how easy it is to replace the right hand glove here. Basically, you're gonna have a little spinner ring up in here that holds the glove or holds tension on the glove and creates a compression fit for the ring itself. So we've gotta get that ring out. There's two real easy ways to do it. Both just involves pushing down on the spinner, but I'm actually gonna use the glove itself to give myself a little tension or uh, retention there. And then of course, I'm gonna be pulling down just like I'm doing here with my finger on this one. And what that's gonna do is actually pull straight out on that spinner ring, just like so. And then of course I can pull it out of the glove. Now we're not gonna be throwing this in away. Just because it leaked doesn't mean that we're gonna throw it away. We're actually gonna be turning it inside out here in a little bit, letting it dry out because now it's gonna actually become my spare. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the right glove here. So I wanna get the right hand. And of course you wanna make sure that it's a good fit for you. So obviously that's a good fit for me. I'm gonna take that little spinner ring and I'm going to place it inside the glove itself. And I am going to attempt to get it sized compared to this one. So what I'm looking for here, you can kind of see how it goes together. I'm looking to see if I've got the same equal amount of distance from where that ring is gonna be there. Now, another little indicator that we can use, if we look at these gloves, you'll notice there's a lot of printing on it. So what I'm gonna do is kind of compare it to the print that's on my left glove here and try to get it positioned just right. So we're gonna pull a little bit out there, add a little bit more on this side until I've got that print. Not quite, I need to pull it down a little bit more on this side here to about right there. Now it looks like I've got this one a little bit lower and I do, but you gotta understand when I go to put it in this ring, it's gonna pull some of that excess material up. So let's go ahead and pull some of this around. And once again, we're gonna get it in comparison. All right, I've got about a half inch gap there. That half inch gap will be just fine because as I go to insert this, it'll take that gap out of it. So I'm gonna get it lined up just like that. And I'll start to press in on it and you'll start to see part of that glove is gonna come out. There we go. And we've got about the equal amount of space all the way around it. And very simply, that is how easy it is to repair 
a glove that has leaked on your SciTech glove lock system like that. We can give it a little tug, make sure everything's nice and secure. Once again, check our height. Everything looks relatively even. And we are back in business. Like I said, guys, whenever you have a dry glove system, pick you up, up a case of them. They're relatively inexpensive. I think I picked these up for like $10 for six set of gloves, and they're very easy to swap in and out. Now, of course, I am gonna go ahead and change out the other one, but you can always take your spares and put them in your save dive kit. And the one that leaked, I'm actually just gonna turn it inside out. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit, and then, of course, it'll become my spare. So I can just basically continue to turn this inside out till it dries out, and it'll be good to go. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this one changed out so I can get back in the water. But that's going to be my little tip for you today. Always have a couple of spare gloves around because as you can see, especially with the glove lock system, it is super easy to change these out. Just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of effort. Because I really hope this video is helpful for you. If it was, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. That's going to do it for today, guys. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.